Hi, this is Tom Kalinowski of the Baja World. Uh, just, I've been speaking to some of you in the past over the phone, and I think many of you have had questions about, you know, whether or not you really want to switch over to a Baja processor from regular hearing aids. And today I just wanted to give you a quick synopsis of what the differences really are and how they appear as, as far as the size and the amplification. And you know, one of the things I wanted to show you, if I have my camera uh, man, Vince, zoom in, uh, here's an example of an old Phonak uh, hearing aid that I have owned for many years. And I just want to kind of give you an idea of the size and the actual uh, angle and the way that the model of the hearing aid is designed. And many people have been wearing hearing aids for many years. And one of the things that I think is so different about uh, uh, hearing aids compared to Bajas is that the amplification number one is completely different and it's much better with a Baja device. Hearing aids now, uh, today, are, are, are even smaller. And the microphones are generally uh, mounted on the side or on the top of the device. And when you're putting amplification uh, from the device through this clear tube and into the mold, you're actually uh, getting that, that travel path of amplification going through the eardrum to the middle ear and then eventually to the cochlea. And with a Baja, you actually have the device, if I have Vincent zoom in on what the actual Baja looks like, compared to the hearing aid, you can see the tip of it, and it gets mounted right inside this orifice, which is surgically implanted, and it's made of titanium. And as you can see, this piece just snaps right in to the orifice, and there's no tubing. There's very little cleaning, except when you go to bed at night before you go to bed, and, and while you're brushing your teeth, you take this device, uh, a typical, uh, what they call a cochlear, a cochlear brush, and this is used to clean off the abutment. This brush here, nightly you should take it in, clean off the post of your Baja processor. Uh, the other thing I want to mention too is that the, the travel path of the sound goes through the skull from the orifice to the opposite side of your head, therefore magnifying the sound that you've lost, that you've lost in your other ear. And if for people that have more severe hearing loss or more conductive hearing loss, you might benefit by having two Bajas. Um, these are the older clamshell hearing aids, which many people uh, prefer, but then again, they're not nearly as powerful as a Baja or a behind-the-ear hearing aid, again, which you see here. And the other disadvantage of the behind the ear hearing aids is that they have tubing, which has to be replaced over a period of, of weeks to prevent them from becoming too brittle because they become too hard and more moisture starts to build up, making them very difficult to clean, including the molding, which has to be saturated in water and cleaned with a brush on a daily basis to prevent that wax buildup. So if you have any questions, I'd be glad to give you more assistance over the phone or via the internet um, at T. Kalinowski, K-A-L-I-N-O-S-K-I at Comcast.net, or you can call me at home at 610-291-6221. And I'd be happy to answer as many questions as I can. Have a great day. This is Tom Kalinowski from the Baja World.